SEC attacks again. Strikes down two Ethereum-based projects. Earlier this week, the Securities and Exchange Commission made the headlines by striking down the founder of EtherDelta, a decentralized exchange platform that offers services for Ethereum-based tokens. This had grabbed the attention of several people involved in the space as it was the first time a founder was scrutinized by the SEC. This also sent across a strong message to the entire community, that is, the developer will always be responsible for their innovation. Now, the SEC is back in the limelight, striking down two ICOs at the same time. The projects that were targeted by the SEC are Paragon Coin Incorporated and Carrier Eck Incorporated Airfox, both of which are Ethereum-based and the ICOs were conducted in the year 2017. The Commission claims that the ICO was conducted after they released a report on their investigation of DAO Aka Digital Decentralized Autonomous Organization, the main reason for the split of the Ethereum blockchain. The Commission added that according to the DAO report, ICOs can be classified as securities offering. Additionally, Airfox raised around $15 million worth of cryptocurrencies for the development of their project. The project pitched by the team during the ICOs was creating tokenized ecosystem that enables users to earn tokens and exchange the tokens for data. Whereas, Paragon raised $12 million worth of cryptocurrencies for the development of a product that is, introducing the blockchain technology in the cannabis industry. Since both the ICOs were not registered under the federal securities laws, the SEC has imposed a penalty of $250,000 each against both the companies. Moreover, they are required to compensate armed investors who took part in the ICO and also file a report with the SEC on a periodic basis for at least a year. Stephanie Vakian, co-director of the SEC's Enforcement Division said, E have made it clear that companies that issue securities through ICOs are required to comply with existing statutes and rules governing the registration of securities. These cases tell those who are considering taking similar actions that we continue to be on the lookout for violations of the federal securities laws with respect to digital assets. Stephen Pikin, co-director of the SEC's Enforcement Division stated, why providing investors who purchased securities in these ICOs with the opportunity to be reimbursed and having the issuers register their tokens with the SEC, these orders provide a model for companies that have issued tokens in ICOs and seek to comply with the federal securities laws. SEC Chairman clarifies the comments on Ethereum, ETH, were non-binding and not the law. Back in mid-June, SEC Commissioner William Hinman, publicly stated that Ethereum, ETH, was not a security. Commissioner Hinman, who is the divisional head of corporate finance at the regulatory body, made the remarks at the Yahoo All Markets Summit in San Francisco. To be specific, he stated the following with regards to Ethereum, and putting aside the fundraising that accompanied the creation of Ether, based on my understanding of the present state of Ether, the Ethereum network and its decentralized structure, current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions. SEC Chairman clarifies Director Hinman's comments three months later, and on 13 September, the SEC Chairman, Jay Clayton, has come out to clarify the comments of Director Hinman as non-binding to the authority and not to be considered law. He did so via public notice that stated the following, back in mid-June, SEC Commissioner William Hinman, publicly stated that Ethereum, ETH, was not a security. Commissioner Hinman, who is the divisional head of corporate finance at the regulatory body, made the remarks at the Yahoo All Markets Summit in San Francisco. To be specific, he stated the following with regards to Ethereum, and putting aside the fundraising that accompanied the creation of Ether. Based on my understanding of the present state of Ether, the Ethereum network and its decentralized structure, current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions. SEC Chairman clarifies Director Hinman's comments three months later, and on 13 September, the SEC Chairman, Jay Clayton, has come out to clarify the comments of Director Hinman as non-binding to the authority and not to be considered law. He did so via public notice that stated the following, As we carry out our market oversight functions, 
I believe we at the Commission should keep this important distinction in mind. Several weeks ago, I instructed the directors of the Division of Enforcement and the Office of Compliance Inspections and Examinations to further emphasize this distinction to their staff. What does it mean for XRP? Ethereum World News had earlier last month highlighted that Director Hinman's comments stating that Ethereum was not a security were accompanied by a disclaimer stating that his words were his opinion and separate from those of the SEC. The clarification by the SEC chairman is in tandem with the observation Ethereum World News made last month dash due to the keen eyes of the XRP community who kept pointing it out as part of their efforts to extinguish the FUD against the digital asset. This FUD brands XRP as the most centralized and manipulated cryptocurrency that is more of a security than a digital asset. With a few pending court cases against Triple still to be concluded, it is safe to assume that the comments of SEC Chairman Clayton gives the Ripple company some leverage in its defense against the standing charges that it issued in an unregulated securities offering.